Hello. Hi guys. Hello. We are here for now. Hopefully a tornado do not does not blow us away. But if it does, it's okay because we will still be live. Yep. At least y'all get to see it, huh? Yep. Because technically, we're on our front porch because, I mean, we ain't got a porch. <laughs> so. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful evening. I know that um, Nick and Zoe went live earlier and then uh, Kimberly, Kevin and Kimberly and Kevin went live. So y'all are just getting a double, double dose of it or triple dose. This is, we'll be live. Hope, well, hopefully like just four hours, no, five hours. No, we ain't going that far. I got a lot of rest, but yeah, hopefully everybody's doing wonderful. Let's go back up the top, see who's all here. There's Donna, Erica. Who are we? Who are we on today? Yours. Okay. Hello. There is Neil, Christine, Eric. I feel like I'm being slow tonight. Uh, Eric said, "Goats. Oh, you humans had a mass weekend up the Who cares? Feed me. That's exactly how they treated us." Aunt Tony Husker boy. And Tony says, yes, the human sure did have fun at the expos. I got to meet Brandon instead. Who said that? Aunt Tony. I'm trying to, I'm trying to match some. Yeah. I see her, her, her grandson just turned 18 years old. I yep. got you down now. I got a visual of your name there. I'd say right outside headquarters door. Me and you were both there. I think. Yeah. No, no, no. That time it was me. And then I think. Brandy was there. I don't know, someone. This is definitely on the bucket list. Yeah, it was a fun, fun week. Um, I, I hate that it's over, but, you know, obviously we got to come back and get back to farm life. And, um, man, I'm already thinking about next year. So, and I'm sure they're, they're already preparing things. And um, it was an amazing time. If y'all did not get a chance to go, Hopefully next year you get a chance to go. Yes, Robert with Mac Media. We've seen him. Yep. Um, I've seen you um, on maybe both of the other lives, but I think Kevin and Kimberly's, and I was going to say hello. I kind of said hello all because there was a bunch of people saying hello, but I'll specifically say hello to you tonight on this one. Um. It's just sad how you had to put down that pit bull. He looked like a happy boy. I, I will say he did change a lot of my opinion about pits. Um, so but he was in pain. He, he the way he, he was. He was and... But the reason why I go back to the pits is people's like you have no clue. Yes, I would say about eighty-five percent of the dog bites I've worked with the sheriff's office has been pit bulls. I would say um, I know two of them has ran me back to the vehicle and one of them I've had to pepper ball. So, I mean, there's a reason why I'm scared of them, but um, I will say that that little fella right there, I felt bad for him, but you know, if I didn't care, I wouldn't have stopped and, and tried to help him. Debbie and Morgan, it's their 25th anniversary of being together. That is awesome. How are you, Samantha Ross? <laughs> Kevin said, hey, buddy, little Kevin's in the house. Little Kevin's in the house. <laughs> you put that on yourself earlier because you was like, I'm not going to say what I really, what Stephanie really calls me or something like that. And I was like, oh, yep, that, that just put your, put your foot in your mouth. I had to call you. Okay. She says, evening, Brennan and Stephanie, welcome home. Love from the UK. Well, thank you so much. We love each and every one of y'all as well. We met so many of our subscribers and, um, I even got to take pictures with them. Um, I, I always make it known to take a picture with my buddy, or uh, how did it say his name? Arturo. Arturo. Uh, I think I call him Arturo. That's what I, I say. And um, he was the first uh, person I seen that morning. And I told him, I was still getting things ready. I told him, I said, hey, before this is over now, you can't, you can't let us, can't leave without getting a picture. We've got, a picture two years in a row and i put them in my book so hello hello get hello, caught up down hello. here there's dyer family farm awesome you know who that is who dyer family farm who was it 
freeze dried. Okay. I, I seen him, but I did not get a chance to stop by because he wasn't in the same spot, I don't think. I ate, I ate some of the candy from one of the girls. I think it might have been Abby. Hello, no, James. it was Kaya. Was it Kaya? I think so, it was Kaya. Yes, Be Becky, we're so glad we made it home. Hope you had a great time. We did. It, it was an amazing time. Even though um, we stay busy, but we, we, we look forward to that. We're just so happy that we get to participate and help out. Um, and we get to be around so many great people. Yeah, Nick, and the, uh, I can't believe that he said it. I know. Um, Bonnie's on here. Do you? Well, no, we'll wait with the kids. Well, I don't know. What, or you want to go ahead? Well, yeah, we'll do it in the video. We'll okay. do it in the video with the kids because we had several packages when we got home. And um, we'll, yeah, that was one with Miss Bonnie. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Um, we just got it today. Hello from. Arizona. Lisa says There's hello. Dean. There's old Dean. What's going on, buddy? I missed you. Um, Alexis, I how was, we get? Oh, go ahead. I was hoping you was going to play a trick on us and just show up. Mm -hmm. I just had a feeling you was going to do that, but you let me down. Let me down. Yep, but I, I understand you have things to take care of, and I totally understand it, but I'm still hoping. Um, Alexis, what old weather did y'all get? I know it was going more towards your area because it's kind of like south, south of us a little bit. Now we're getting the thunderstorm. Yeah. So we're getting the thunder, the lightning, the beautiful sounds in my ears. Um, There's a tornado, tornado warning in, just south of us about 15, about 20 miles. Yeah. But hey, that ain't going to keep us from going live. We love no. interacting with y'all. Um, if it comes this way, they'll send us an alert. So. Yeah. If it comes this way, power might go out first. All right. Uh, Lisa, Peggy, Nancy. Hello. Hello, Joan. If I don't say your name, then hello. Hello, Hadi, to everyone from here from Indiana. I think they just turned their AC off because I got scared. I thought the power just went off. Um. Uh, Peggy says... Uh, I love the picture and the video of your youngest son holding the snake. That would freak me out too. It did. And, you know, I let him hold it. I didn't want to freak out in public, but I told him afterwards, <laughs> as y'all know in the video, is. Um, With my hand. Oh, I was like, what? The <laughs> um, we don't want to get in the habit of that because Kaysen will just pick up one and he'll pick up a copperhead or something. We'll be in bad shape. He's listening to you, I believe. Rebecca said, love meeting Stephanie at the expo. Saw Brandon several times, but he was uh, always busy. Yes, um, I did get to stop and, and talk to a few people and uh, take some pictures, and we'll show those here in just a minute. Um, but it, it's just one of those deals that um, towards the end of the day, the first day my legs felt like there's 150 pounds, but the second day was good. Um, I'll tell you, the, the radios Ed Kirkpatrick sent saved everyone. It helped out tremendously. Yeah. Now, we had that one time that someone pushed an emergency call type thing. It was in your ear. Yeah, they were grounded. Um, Allie and Tasha, Carolyn and Diane. Welcome home from Boston, Tina. Everyone, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much, Tina. Appalachian Homesteading said, did y'all get some country cottage grub? Which yes. We have that place here in Pennsylvania. Good to meet. Good to see y'all. Yes, we did. We got that the first day we was there. Hey, Kay Barnes, how are you? Hey. Um, first day we was there. They may get some of this. Are you, Is that weather coming straight to you? Hey, Borns. I, I think y'all watch out for that weather. Hello, Brandon and Stephanie from Mississippi. How are Captain Kaysen's eggs doing in the incubator? They're doing good. I um, I honestly, I did not actually check them when I got home. We had a disaster when we got home, but yeah. we're going to save that for a video. It was. Yeah. Everybody's safe, but we will say this Something that's never happened before here. We come home, babies everywhere, everywhere. 
Um, we knew we had one mama that had some kids because Leighton called and was helping us out on that part. But I guess several more had them, I guess, last night. Yeah. I mean, he fed this morning, but maybe didn't look in the barn or whatever. Um, Robin says, uh, how was y'all's weekend? I sure have enjoyed watching all the videos. It was an amazing weekend. And it's any time that we go up there with our friends, um, it's always sad to leave. Um, it, the only thing that would have made it better was if our kids was with us. And uh, I'd see all the other kids playing around there. I'd be like, man, I wish, you know, we brought them. But, you know, we got to have that time. Um, you know, it, it's good for us. It's good for the kids. And, um, you know, we'll be back up there, you know, before the next year. There's always something going on. Yeah, and it's always like we always say next year we may bring the kids. But then a year passed and you're like, we need we need a little break together. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Eddie family from New Zealand. I don't get on lives often because I'm usually asleep. <laughs> well, hopefully you, hopefully you're awake only because you can't sleep and not like Alan says hi, else. Brandon. Hello. Um here's one here it says pit ball pits. Bulls are bad when the owners are bad. Jack Russell are what people think pit bulls are. We've had Jacks for 20 years. So, yes, and, and I think that's only uh, all dogs, to be honest with you. Candy says, hey, Stephanie and Brandon, today is my daughter's 43rd birthday. Love y'all. Well, happy 43rd birthday. You know what I just did? You just drink my coffee. So, um, I drank a couple cups of coffee while I was up there, and my stomach didn't do too bad. So, what I'm going to do is this: we trade. We I tried some coffee that uh, we drank at the Walkers this morning, and um, I went and bought some of. It, so, we're going to see how that does. It ain't very good. Montana Homestead. I love the expo event. I can't wait for next year. Yes. Um, already counting down, counting down. Hey, Lori, I thought you wasn't going to fall asleep. She says, I'm here listening, but trying to fall asleep. I nap too long today. <laughs> I'm will... glad you nap too long so that you could be awake for at least a second. Yeah. Um... Aaron says, I see Brandon switch trucks again. No, I got the same truck. Or do I have another truck? Brandon's running on adrenaline and good memories right now, Kevin says. Yes, it was amazing. Um, our neighbors kept us up all night. Hey, there was, there's um, Big Kevin. Oh, Big Kevin. What? He's a hey, KG. <laughs> KG. <laughs> I'm still at the top. I'm getting there. Well, mine just scrolled all the way to the bottom, so it kind of like made me go there. So I was like, well, so the puppies are gone now. Yep, all of them, but the one, the one little girl. Um, hello, Brandon, Stephanie. Glad you had a good time at the Oki Homestead Expo. The chickens are beautiful. The pens look really good. You all do a good job on everything. You do love your family. Yes, we absolutely do. Um, Pins look pretty now. We do love our family. And, and it, it is rough being away from the kids, yes. you know, that many days. But, you know, thank God we have Skype and we get to see their beautiful faces and just to see their reactions. And um, I don't think they actually cried this time. Hmm. No, not at all. Bonnie said, uh, hi, Brennan, Stephanie. It was so fun meeting you both. Now planning to go next year. Next yeah. year. Yeah. It was fun. Me I got to, to meet a, a lot of new people that I haven't got to meet, but I, I met some that I've met before. And, um, there's a lot of y'all that held me to my word. If you see me say hi, they would stop me and say hi and go on. 
Uh, um, let me find it. No, oh, Gavin says I miss Brandon already. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I will say um, that wasn't what I was talking about. Nina said, "Wish you had took the plaque and had it on the interview you did." Um, I'm thinking that he he told me he was gonna do the bring the plaque, but then um, he found out Dean wasn't coming, so he didn't want to bring it. Yeah, that's what it was. Dean, it's all your fault. Karen sent ten dollars. Thank you, Lori. Mrs. Stephanie. You just miss someone that you can pester. Uh, Trina says, did meet with Justin Steinmetz family farm. Yeah. Yeah. What did you meet with maybe? Yeah. Yeah. We got to visit with we him. For, we're trying to get the kiddos to bed as well. They were, we've had a great evening with them since we've been home. So it, it's been awesome. Any tornadoes down your way, Brandon? Um, yeah, just south of us. There was in a tornado warning, um, but I'm not for sure if there was actually one touchdown or anything. They put them in a, a tornado warning earlier, just a little bit south of us. But usually, uh, hey, there is um, Nico and Natalie. Um, I bet it's Nico. Nico's probably... Laid up, yeah, yeah. It's probably Nico. He needs some interaction tonight. He he probably still up and at work, working. I'm glad. I'm uh, I'm assuming that he's on here, so he made it to his destination safely. Natalie texts me. Um, well, I text her, asked her how her flight was, and um, it just she so, said she made it. It's just so crazy how they can get on the planes and just fly. I don't know about all that. I mean, get you there faster. Oh, Yager's Farm. Welcome to Basic Member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy all the crazy videos and pics. Yeah, I think the other night we had uh, some old police videos. I think that's what we did on the last live. Okay, Jesus, the expo was huge. Tons of people. Great family fun for all. Everyone should come next year. Yes, it was amazing. Hi, guys from Australia watching. Wow, that's amazing. Hi, jo Janine. Leonard Mountain Homestead. Got the freeze-dried Skittles with the Cajun on them. They are delicious. I didn't get none this year. I did last year. We come home with a bunch a of them. lot last year. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Touch my arm. I love the taste, but just my teeth are real sensitive to hard things. Carol says she's watching and Chestnut Hills, Chestnut Hills Farmstead video from the Expo. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I ever be able to say that daggum name right. It's been over two years now. Chestnut Hills Farmstead. Chestnut. I, I watched that video on the on the ride home. Linda flew home from OK today. Everybody made it home safely, God. hopefully. I know, um, man, I tell you, Joel, hey, Ed. The, the main speaker. Hey, buddy, how are you? Um, the, the main speaker, what I did get a watch towards the end, he said something that just, just grabbed me. And um, somebody asked him a question. What would you do different if you could go back to 18 years old? And he said, uh, how do he say it? Uh, work, to grow with other people. Um, and the way he said it, 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 he said you would, you have to grow with other people to grow your business or whatever you're doing. And sometimes it isn't, um, sometimes it isn't, you know, people, all minds that are alike. Um, I'm sure there's going to be videos out there, but it, it made a lot of sense. I miss Joel on Friday. Cato Family Farm said. I, I missed, I got to see Cassie. And that was only because I went and got lunch finally. 
and um, that's pretty much when I was eating. Now I waited to eat my Cheetos till after she was done because I didn't want to be the only one chomping on Cheetos. But, yeah, no, but but here's the deal: we're not complaining at all. That we went up there to be a part to help out. And, yeah, no, and I'm not complaining. That's that was so amazing to to see the outcome of all the people that come from all over the world. It was awesome. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. Life hasn't been easy, but I lived through it. Timmy said, I didn't get a notification. I looked at the clock and remember you posted saying you were going live at 930. So I pulled your page up. Well, I'm glad you joined us, Tammy. Thank you so much for joining us today on Facebook. Build your team early. Yep, build your team. Yeah, that's right. Build your team early. That's that's exactly what it was. I also look forward to the home build. I enjoy the burns and dirt work. It's all part of it, right? Yep, it sure was. Um, Chris said I would have been pretty excited, but yeah, the snake deal that I would that was kind of stiff. I probably here. shouldn't have sent him a text message about it, but I was kind of it was kind of a joke to him, I guess. I sent him a text and was telling them that Braley and Kaysen was holding a snake. And, you know, at the time they wasn't, they were up there because they were pushing chickens down the line and so that they can show and help and everything. But at the time he wasn't even holding a uh, snake. But once Brandon walked out here, out there, it's like he grabbed a snake and he was holding it. Hello, Linda. How are you? Thank you so much for hopping in here. Let me, I gotta turn the AC off. He didn't think the joke was funny. No, not at all. The chocolate covered cheesecake was amazing. Yeah, the popcorn is always, I was never a kettle corn popcorn eater just because, you know, it's too sweet for me. But, their popcorn, it's got like just the right amount of salt to go with the sweet, and it's delicious. We brought back, well, he he gave me, I think there was six bags towards the end, and I was like, here, take these, dispense them out to the kids and everything. He wanted me to make sure I bring some home to the kids, but then there was some kids walking up, and I, they were like, I have one, and they were like, that's the last of it. We just gave it her. And I was like, no, you were going to give these to these little kids. They want some popcorn, even though they probably just ate a whole bag of it. But oh, sorry, it wasn't no big, no big deal. I forget their name. Do you remember? Mom and Paul. Mom and Paul. I'm going to tell Paul. you what, that is their third year there. And they are the most nicest people that you could be around. They was amazing. Um, they always have a smile on their face and we just enjoy seeing them every time. Um, they, they say they only come to bless other people. Yes. That's the only reason and I they see, come. I've seen that all throughout the day. Yes. Like they make a little bit of money. I mean, with Pam, but I mean, they, it's not, they don't do it for the money. And that's what I love about they it. They just love visiting with everybody. Yes. He said, don't be lying. You know you kept it all for yourself. Just kidding, just kidding. Who said it? Hey, we came, uh, KG. KG. <laughs> we came home with three and a half bags. I got the three that I left at the expo, and then I had a half bag. The very first day, I got one bag. It says, uh, I wanted to go to the Oak Elm State Oak Expo, but I was not able to go. I hope I'll to be able to go next year. I hope, hopefully you do. It's going to be here before you know it. We already got it on our calendar. Not really, but it sounded good. <laughs> Which I also said, wish I could have attended, but my, I'm nine months pregnant. Oh, my ad just popped up. Well, you could, uh, um, you could come April to that. April 4th, so no traveling for Hey, me. that's something that has never happened at the expo. Yeah, have a baby never, at the expo. Yeah. They, that would have been perfect, huh? Yeah. <laughs> could have named it Oki or something. <laughs> uh, I love the birthday party y'all did for now. That. that was a lot of fun. Yeah. She did not have a clue. I will say Nico, he, I mean, cause me, if I don't, yeah, I probably gave it away. Cause I, it's hard for me to keep a secret. Y'all know. And she, 
I think what helped, or she was trying to get me go to, you know, there's we can find different food or whatever. And he's like, no, we need to go to this place. <laughs> Debbie's been a member for eight months. Well, thank you so much, Debbie. Someone's lurking in the shadows. I wonder who it is. Case and Eddie. What are you doing, boy? Bed. It's time to go to bed, son. Thank you got to get to bed. No, I'm going to walk. All right. Please. Sometimes, you know, when, when the kiddos stay with Nana and Papa, it takes a little bit to wind them back in and dial them back in and get them back to where they were. But. He's got three pillows in the window. He says it scares them. <laughs> like there's three windows in the in the room. It doesn't scare that boy. He ain't scared of nothing. He plays in the rain and Jacob and stuff. says, love the interview you did with Farm to Table Direct. Yeah, I you know, well, I spoke with him at the very beginning, and, you know, he is asking legit questions, wanting to know, you know, and, and, and you know, the, the, the amazing setup he put up there was, was awesome. And uh, I think one day y'all will see them more often as they grow. And um, I think it's it, it's really neat how they set it up. Yeah. Yell says right. any snow there? We got 18, 8. Wow. No, no snow here. There's Diane. She said, are they wearing their new PJs? Um, What new PJs? Well, you must got some more mail at the post office. Yeah. Kevin said, you better go to bed. Oh. Unless, I guess it could have been. Okay, name's Diane. So I bet it was Diane in her bag. Oh, Remember okay. the bag? Yeah. If they're it, in the car. Yeah, they're in the car still. Um, I haven't actually got it out or nothing yet. It was kind of sprinkling off and on and stuff. And I got some yeah. good rest last night, Kevin. Tomorrow we will actually be able to uh, get everything out of the car and get it where it needs to go and everything. Ooh, that thunder just sounds so beautiful. Oh, that is... Um... That I know who that is now, Amy. Mountain Homestead. Yeah, Leonard Mountain, Amy. Yeah, yeah. I put it all together now. Amy had uh, two of the kids. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I talked to her at the end, and they actually are the ones that brought uh, Lori down, or she is one that brought Lori down here. They was down here. I wish, but we had ball games that day. That's what that was. Yeah. All right, Marilyn. Good night. Jeff says, love y'all's channel watching from Alabama. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for watching our channel. We greatly appreciate it. I'm supposed to ever think of having a contest to name the new puppy. No, I went ahead and let Layton name the puppy because Braley has been naming some of the goats and Kaysen named some of the chickens. And so I went ahead, I think Addison's named um, some of the stuff too. So Layton was with me that day. So. That video, I actually think, went out sometime this week of what its name is. And Susan, you haven't missed nothing. Little Ann. I'll say hello, Brennan Stephanie from Cedar Hill, Texas. Love your family. Well, thank you so much for watching and showing your support to our family. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, Barnes Ooh. says, just windy right now. Good. Susan, you didn't miss nothing. We're just doing our regular um live when i was a kid i came within inches of stepping on a nest of snakes with my mom's it was copperheads wendy said nope <laughs> the wind okay thunder and lightning starting in it's a lot of acres farm year one 80 percent youtube meetup year two we're we're here to learn some stuff year three there's there was a wealth of great information, and this year will propel things forward. The Oki Expo is a growing force. Yes, it is, and we're we're super glad to hear that, too. We can relay that on. Actually, I'm going to screenshot that. Lori said, yes, I feel honored to be able to volunteer at the Expo. Yes, there were so many great volunteers. It was, it was amazing. I tell you, um, those four set this place up 
awesome this year. They had the lineup. Uh, it, it was really good. It ran smoothly. The uh, vents, um, especially with Joel, um, they had it to where when Joel spoke, there was no other events going, so everybody was able to see that. Uh, said, you're welcome. Our daughter is due May 10th. This will be our third grandchild. Oh, she's talking to Michelle. Uh, I saw you and Daniel standing by the by the side and you got a full head <laughs> yes i know he's trying to film i didn't know he was filming that thunder vibrated the building <laughs> vicky says i enjoy seeing the changes on the farm well thank you vicky and thanks for watching Ren, do you guys have any cane products on your farm um i don't know any cane products do you you know what they might be talking about probably that uh, the cane stick in the pond. No, uh, we have some, what do they call that? Uh, bamboo cane. Oh. I think. Yeah, we have bamboo growing, but it actually has died down a bunch. Here in Australia, we must be wary of all snakes. We have so many deadly snakes. Yeah, I believe that. Um, they go back to school tomorrow, Lynn. Spring break was last week. Connie said, now we can get back to back on schedule since you're home again. I caught your videos while you were gone. Welcome back, Stephanie and Brandon. Well, Thanks. thank you so much. And thank you all so much for watching all those videos there. I mean, it was amazing the feedback we got on the last couple of videos. I was afraid they was a little too long. Um, the last few has been 40 minutes long, but we've just had so much going on and trying to get stuff done. But by the looks of uh, the the watch time on it, looks like everybody enjoyed it. Yeah. There was someone, and I hate that I cannot think of the name because we just met so many new people, but there was a lady that um, she said something. We met in passing, like I was heading into headquarters and she was coming out of the main building. And um, she said that she's been able just to go to sleep um, while she's been at the expo because we're not, we don't have a video going out. And I, I reassured her, I was like, we do, we did video ahead of time. So there is videos going out, even though we're not at the house to do that. But um, anyways, yes, uh, I'll, I let her know. And she's like, okay, I can binge watch tonight or something like that. And I was like, okay. This is our buddy here from Houston, Texas, Artero. Oh, I hate it when the it <laughs> won't show good. Let's see if I can get it. You're blocking you out. I know. I can't get it to light up, right? Maybe it's. There. I bet. Let me. See. I don't know about that shirt he's wearing though. <laughs> he should have an Eddie Family Farm shirt. I know it. That's too dark, but you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. Like if it's not too bright, try that. Maybe that's, that's a little better. bit better. Oh, that's a lot yeah. better. Man, that, I'm so good. That T-shirt, I don't know about that thing, though. They should have had an Eddie Family Farm shirt on. Yeah. Now, we did have a few, though, that had the Eddie Family Farm stuff on. I need to get my stuff up and going. This is one of the last pictures I took. Yeah, this is amazing. I always love that when kids love watching our, our content. That is, I didn't... Don't know if they was Amy's kids or Nisha. I, I don't remember. Um, into the storm, the past through Indiana. The There's night, another the lovely so subscriber from Pennsylvania, I believe. Phone, and I was in the room. There was a garage, but now a bedroom. Hey, here's Aunt Tony. Aunt Tony, I got a picture up with you. But it was a lot of fun, guys. Who got all the little puppies? Well, most of you know Chestnut. But who else got them? A I don't know. That will be, it'll be coming out soon. Yeah. Lori said, I'm setting the phone down uh, 
to oh. try to fall asleep. Uh, see, I couldn't do that. I, it's got to be peaceful for me to go to sleep. I can sleep with a TV on or anything. That's what's bad about, like, but I can sleep any time of day. It don't matter. The Red Bear have our kids while you were gone. Yeah. We'll let you know that <laughs> secret. That's all the secrets are given, though, tonight. We're not going to tell you how many and how many we thought she had. <laughs> uh, Expo was triple terrific and it was wonderful to meet you brandon next time i need to talk to steph too it was a lot of fun it was it was amazing boy it's starting the lightning at the 3 30 in the mm. morning no, so so you said $10. So it's been a while since i've seen you you look both looking great i know i've been missing you jody i'm just glad it wasn't a chicken yeah I don't want him to start that stuff. I love Thunder and Lightning also, season. I was actually out with the puppies. Brandon had to run to town, and um, I was out with the puppies and not puppies. We only have one puppy. Out with the goats and just checking on all the kids and stuff, and that's when it really started kind of raining and stuff, and oh, it was beautiful. Stokes Family Farm, good evening. How are y'all? What's your opinion on Rottweilers? We used to have one when I was younger, and I mean, it's just any dog. It's who raises them and how they raise them. That's any animal. How are you all tonight? How was the expo? It was great. Like you said, Brandon, check your email earlier today. All right, we will definitely check that here in a bit. Great live stream, Brandon Stephanie. Time for sleep. God bless you and your family. All right, Robert. Have a good night. One of these years, Richard, one of these years I'm going to make it to the expo, although I have zero idea about anything that y'all do. What you need to do is you just need to bring a small machine or something, set up your own booth, be a vendor, right? Yeah. Where are you at? I'm not just you're reading. doing you're doing the Nick thing. Nick to Nick, Nick told on you what the other day that you just you just say yep. That's what he gets a kick out of on our lives because <laughs> I'll be asking you questions and you're like yep. I'm a little far behind here. I got to get caught back up. It's all right. I married you anyways. Janice says hello, Stephanie Brandon from Georgia. So glad you had a great trip to the Okie Show. I like that Okie Show. It's a lot of fun. Gail says, love the videos of the boys helping you put up another chicken pen. Up, uh, Kaysen learning how to use the ranch. He is so good that he wants to learn everything. Yes, that's one thing that I absolutely enjoy. The, the kids, they love interacting, and they are always wanting to be a part of something. KG said, y'all even got a live out while y'all were gone. We did the the first day. The first day, it was it was fun. So I see, are those strong storms close to y'all? Praying for the one in the path of the storm. It is, but it's kind of southern, like a little bit south of us, but it's still kind of coming towards us. But I think it's going to die off a little bit. It's not going to be as severe as what it seems. Do you have a new name for the new turkeys? No? I don't Not think yet. So. We've got a small hook over us right now. I had to find the snapping turtle reel for Justin and Lauren to show why I had to give you that crochet turtle, Heather said. I know. It's uh, something else. I, I, it's still in a truck. Yeah. I seen it earlier. I don't like turtles neither. Let's get your stuff up and going. I know he must be talking about my shirts need it. I need to, I think what I want on it, I think is going to be the two ponies, um, Stevie and Juliet. Romeo, he's still on the naughty list. So I don't know if he's going to make the shirt or not. He might though somehow get him in the middle of the girls. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out, but 
then probably Dixie because she's she's my baby. Then the puppy. I don't know. I just love them all. Cinderella needs to stay in there. I don't know. We'll we'll figure something out. When that's on your to do list. Oh, uh, you're the email guy. What? Oh, that's my kiddos. Okay. I thought that ain't Amy's channel, is it? No. Oh. That's living in the. That's the one that just said that they didn't get to talk to me, but maybe next time. Okay. I wore my cowboy shirt Saturday. I seen that. Yes. Okay. Now we're putting some faces together. Yes, Diane is the one. Hey, off sleeves. There, there's. Oh, you just read Richard's stuff. Yeah, we're getting ready. To have to get a launch ready. Yeah. Who? Oh, For Diane. My shirts. So, Diane, do you make it home then? You better watch it. Um. Did Casey want to buy that snake? I don't know if he did or not. I don't think so. He just wanted to sell it. Yeah. He he is their little helper at the auction. Um, he he moves those chickens that it's so neat. Um, I've got pain. got another uh, picture of him as well, or a video of him. <laughs> Mark says you've gotten very gray in the last year or so. I know you would too if you had to put up with her. Hey, I like the salt and pepper look. That's why I told him I was like, I'm gonna die. The the uh, people that uh, cut hair, they're like. Man, there's people out there would die to have your hair. They would pay millions. Me ain't dying for that. that. Just makes me look better. Those are some awesome pictures. I, I saw the name Blizzards. It's funny. We just got six inches of snow. Oh, that's Lila. Whew. Is that you in the middle? Must be you're taller. Probably. Yeah. Stokes Family Ranch. Dan and I saw y'all from a distance, but it was so busy. We really enjoyed the expo. Yeah, I seen Dan um, because you know, I was in HQ. I was the one to what the supervisor to kind of make sure it all ran you know, willingly in there. And um, I was like, okay, he hasn't checked in. Okay, she hasn't checked in. And then I saw him down there, and I was like, okay, he, I mark it off. And so I seen him kind of like you said from a distance, but that's about it. Um, yeah, this is Maryland, but close. Life of Little Side Meds Farm that was with me was from Pennsylvania. Okay. What was your favorite part of the expo? Mine was meeting people. Yeah, me Get, too. Getting to meet all the new people. Like I said earlier, some of them was um, seen them last year, but most of them was a lot of new ones. And so I can't sleep without YouTube. It has to be well, quiet lady for me. The picture with you was a hoot. She was great. I think everybody had a wonderful time. Tina's crazy live. Oh my! I think this is my first. I've made it to a live of yours. Well, that's awesome. Awesome. David said, hello from Clarksville. Enjoy yep, your show. Thunder. Yeah, it's, we got a big storm coming over. Fixing the hit. So if we lose you, that's why. How's the barn bill going? It's it's going. It's getting closer. It's um, I mean, He had some vehicle issues. And I think he showed up yesterday and uh, got quite a bit done. That looks so much fun, but Northern California is a bit too far. Maybe one year I will make it there. 
What do you think about people just sending you stuff for free? If they, if that's that's what they want to do, but used to used we, to we we didn't air that, but um, after thinking about it for a while, this and the emails and stuff, um, it's kind of selfish of me not letting people do their blessings. Um, and there's a lot of people that's always wanted to, and we just kind of kept it down. But I like how Cassie and Gary shows uh, the things that the kiddos get, and that's um, what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. So that's what we do. Romeo would make a better pet if he was haltered. See, they used to be haltered. But we got so much grief about them being haltered in a pen that they might get hung up or whatever. And so we took the halters off. And then I think that's actually not, not right away started getting wild, but it's more he got to that age. Uh, most male horses make better gildings than suds, calmer and less. Yes, but I was hoping, I mean, they would, we would be able to breed him to Juliet and have little ponies or whatever. <laughs> Chris, Crystal says she's the one that sent the Easter shirts. Oh, I love that camouflage one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I actually saved those because the kiddos had... An Easter yesterday, so they had to go with Nana and Papa and Aunt Brooke and Aunt Uncle Cody. And um, I've actually bought them Easter outfits before, so I let them wear those that day. And then we have an Easter on Easter that they're actually going to wear those shirts. Thank you again. Those Coke bottles are the cutest. But did, wasn't you wanting to ask if that was her that sent... The other Coke bottles? The Christmas ones? The Christmas Coke bottles. So is that Crystal? Yes. Yeah. Random Oaky Farms. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. The rain, rain, rain. Uh, Lori said, I, I wear a lot, or I wear a hat, and it helps cover or hide her gray hair. <laughs> I can't wear a hat. It gives me a headache. Uh, Nick said, Kevin, if you want it to really hot gray, you could cut it like mine. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that. I got ball. too many scars on my head. Brandon, don't worry about gray hair. Men with gray hair look distinguished. My head used to be a magnet models. They're turning me gray, but haven't made me pull it out yet. <laughs> How's the new mailbox working out? It's it's going good. We we actually got home today and we had mail in it, so it's it's working out wonderful. Is that the rain I'm hearing? I just made it to the live stream. Yes, that is the rain. Maybe the AC also. A little bit of both. Any updates on the house? Nope, not yet. No. Probably the beginning of the month. Yeah, we always hear something at the very beginning of the month. Brandon's there is good. Tony Brandon's from Our the Cabin Hunt. in the Woods. Hi, Brandon. Stephanie, it was nice to see you guys again. We had a blast. Yes, it was awesome. A miniature horse is under 33 inches tall, and a pony is over that. The only reason I ask is because me and my family used to show miniature horses. Yeah, ours are miniatures. They're definitely under. They're really, really small. Yeah. I'm very glad you did catch it. Oh. I was just watching the news here in Florida, and it said thunderstorms in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. The warning went away for our, uh, the Ardmore area. We have one puppy left. That is our puppy. 
So it says, hey, Brandon, keep up the good work on your farm. I'm always watching from Southern Iowa. We have zero puppies left to share. Y'all see my new friendship bracelet? It kind of blends in. Hey, there, Got Gary from, Walker. From Abby. <laughs> you, you made me stop, and I was like, stuttered. Hey, Gary. We left them a nice gift, too. Yeah. Cassie, show you that mm -hmm. nice gift? That wasn't me. That was her, though. Ah, uh, you put it there. Uh, so I didn't see Sean or Dutch at the expo. He was there. He was all over all the place. All over. I think next year we might get some uh, yeah, she sent golf Christmas carts. Christmas bottles. Crystal did. I figured it was Stephanie caused the scars with the frying pan. Oh, no. I wish. Well, no, I don't wish. That was back in the crazy days. That was before me. Yeah. Back in the crazy days. Yeah, we got to, we got to be nice to uh, Gary and Cassie. That they, they are our pet taxi. Or, or what it... What are you boarding or animal boarding place? Puppy hotel. Yeah. Did you put your puppy with Mama Dixie yet? She's out there, but she gets right out too. So, yeah. Um, now he says, Do you only answer to other YouTubers? No, we answer every comment that comes Cons on. If we don't, then it's just because there's so many of them. Um, Connie says, if people want to gift you gift you with things, they doing it because they like your videos, not because you ask anyone to. Yeah, that's that's right. And it it is what it is. That's that's the deal. It's like so many people don't realize how many, and I know I keep saying this, how many people that are left alone or don't have kids and and they see the the youtube kids as part of their family so um so i got sent a couple emails that made me really really think and made me um do some praying because um my pride i had to set my pride to the side and um quit taking their blessing and i mean that's just kind of where i was led to do it Be careful what you wish for, Brandon. Captain Kaysen, Chicken Village is really coming on leaps and bounds. It says, Brandon, do you love us like we love you, bro? Yes, most definitely. Um, I, I really enjoy uh, in, interacting with y'all. And like I say, is, um, if I didn't, I probably wouldn't get on here two hours uh, once a week, which right now it's been about an hour and a half because um, it's so hard to with the time change. Beverly says, Good evening, Stephanie and Brennan. She did like the video, the interview I saw on Oak said, Stephanie, where did you get your t shirt? Um, this one I got off of Facebook, it was just one of those kind of t shirt places on there. I'm not 100 sure where hey andale our cabin in woods tony says all my girls love my gray hair uh goats chickens pigs turkeys <laughs> heck even my wife yeah that's that's the reason why i enjoy the goats they don't they don't degrade you means a fine man wouldn't leave scars it leaves knots um Brandon, do you still make wooden American flags? No, nope, not right now. Hopefully soon. Yeah, someone's out of bed. Like I say, it, 
which I know they're so excited we're home and which we had a lot of fun this evening before it got dark, but um, it takes them a little bit to get tuned back in, you know. Nana and Papa let some, well, not all of them stayed at Nana and Papa's. They stayed at my brother's too. We kind of split them up. Um, Jennifer says, I'm here. First weekend in the RV has been an experience. We ran out of propane and we are in single digits and just had snowstorm. Love Vermont. Well, we had the incident where we ran out of propane uh, probably our first month and it was really, really cold. Um, it was snow on the ground. You couldn't go into town and get propane because it was closed. We had one electric heater here, and I remember getting all of us up at the top of the camper, turning that electric heater on, and just piling up in blankets. I will never forget that. The kids will never forget it, but we all stayed warm, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Gary said, Cassie says, calling the sheriff's office to file a report. That'd be on her. Restraining order from the orange. Yeah, that'd all be on her. Uh, okay. Ginger says, my brother used to show cattle, started them young to get used to being handled and wearing a halter. Layton needs to spend time with Bushwhacker every day, handling, walking on a lead, being brushed. He will calm down pretty quick, but it takes time and patience to get it done, but well worth it. So he did ask us right before he, we left if we could build him a smaller pen and just put Bushwhacker in it so he can actually interact with Bushwhacker in a smaller pen. To, and we're going to end up doing that. Have to um, put some goats in it too, though. Yeah. Can't be lonely. I have to go by everyone. Have a blessed night. All right, Tina, good night. Bane says, everybody, have a blessed and good night. Praying y'all don't get any tornadoes because we had tornadoes close to home, but still a good ways away. Yeah, I hope we don't get any more, which we haven't had none this year, so. I hope the kids had fun while you were at the expo. Yeah, they did. Um, Gary said paybacks are always 10 times worse. <laughs> yes. That's the reason I don't play those games. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, Neil says Captain Casey's chicken villain is no, really good. Oh, I got to see where you're at then. Did Ed make it to this one? Yep. Yes, he sure did. Ed was there. Maybe a training pin for him. Yeah, yeah. I know the kids are happy you're back home. I love that the kids get to so excited over things that the animals do. Yeah, and that's what Braley was at Nana and Papa's, and when we got home, the other three were at the baseball field because Addison and Kaysen both had practice and then Layton helps out with their practices. So he wanted to go. And that's what, um, of course, when we get home, I think Brandon might have videoed a little bit of Braley. I don't know, but um, she was super excited about us coming because if she just goes and stays the night, she throws a fit, does not want to come home. She wants to stay longer and everything, but since it's been a while, even Nana said that about yesterday, you could really tell Bradley was missing mom and daddy. Susan said that just means the walkers have to come visit the farm. Yeah, um, the last time they come down, it was uh, that's when Kaysen broke his arm. So hopefully, next time we'll all get to sit back and visit without all kinds of panic going on. And then um, the other three. 
Addison was in a meeting with the coach, like, because it was the end of practice and they were all huddled up and then Kaysen had a scrimmage going on. So I went straight to Kaysen and then Layton came out of the field or whatever and sat beside me. And he, I asked him, I was like, do you need to sit in my lap? Because he sat so close to me and you could tell he was excited about being home, but he didn't want to actually show it. You know, he's getting older, but, um, then Addison came and sat down. Kaysen ran outside like there was a ball game going on or a scrimmage. He ran outside and came and gave me a hug. He said, Mom, watch me hit. Watch me hit. And he hit a home run like five minutes before I got there. And he was, he was so excited about it. Was there another prank this time? Well, you know, we always got to do something. Um, Brandon, that was funny when you were at the Oki when you walked in front of Daniel when he – was uh, doing his video. I know I didn't even see him recording. I just photo bombed him. Was it on his video today or something? Uh, or he just seen yesterday. you? Oh, he just seen you. Brandon Stephanie, have a blessed We'll see day. you later, Duck uh, and Gary. Cover with Good, night. Storms. Good night. Good night, Lala. Night, Gary. So that's what happens when you use shampoo at the hotel or at the motel. I bring our own shampoo, but I don't know what, which which comment you're talking about. KG okay, said, I wouldn't admit to anything. As a kid, I would have already been trying to ride the ponies. Yeah, I saw you had some complaints from viewers. And you told them that you enjoy interacting with older people that never had family, that never had any family visiting. They could at least count on your family. I agree 100%. Yes, 100%. Steph, your ha hair is shiny. Yes, it is always shiny when she wears it um, uh, Down. straight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she straightened it yesterday. It was really it's nice. I had to put it in the ponytail, though, because it's starting to throw out because being outside in the rain. Leah says, Brandon, Stephanie, have a blessed week. Duck and oh. cover with those storms. Good night. All right. You have a wonderful night as well. How do I find Casey's wish list? Um, it's in, in the description box. Um, we haven't updated anything in a while, so well, since we've been gone, we took a break from videos and all that because we scheduled our videos before we left and uh, it was a nice break. It really was. Um, the shampoo, you, shampoo you use, Stephanie, call hotel potion number nine. <laughs> no, no. She I takes bring, her shampoo. I bring my own shampoo. Kevin put um, case in the wish list up there. Did y'all enjoy your weekend alone? You need time for yourself once in a while, and the kids are good kids. You raised them right. Well, thank you. Thank yes, you and we know. did have a really good time. No, we haven't. Um, we haven't gotten a girls' wish list together yet. Um, I'm gonna work on that this week. I'm gonna get with each one of them and. I'm going to work with that. Nick said that little Kevin is on top of it. <laughs> Stephanie reminds me of my granddaughter, red hair and temper. And he says, I remember that. I felt so bad for him. I broke my arm as a child, as a child multiple, multiple times. times. Hopefully we don't have multiple times. Do your girls have dolls? Yes, they got bunches of dolls. That, yeah. They have, which, that I say they have a bunch. A lot of them is this, I say a bunch because they have a small room, so they can't have a whole bunch. You know, they alternate their toys. They will definitely love it when they get in, um, um, in the house. I don't think Kaysen's ready for school tomorrow, but everybody else is. 
You're ready to go back and learn. He says, Mom, I just can't sleep. I'm not tired. And I'm like, yeah, but you got school, and I know how you'll be in the morning. You better get to sleep. Good night, Valerie. I had a dollhouse when I was a little girl. Yeah. I had a football. <laughs> I had a baseball. I had a lot of things, but I was more sporty, I guess. Dean said he'll be at the fruit stand, Christina. Yeah, buddy. But like I say, we just wanted to hop on here since we got home. I mean, we got home probably about uh, 3.30, and then we had all kinds of babies going on and all that good stuff. Was it 3.30? About 3.30 by the time we got back to the house. Oh, a uh, lot to Kevin earlier. I said 2.30. Well, we got back at 2.30, but we went to Dad's. Oh, and we yeah. was over there for a good while you went to town. Okay. okay. So, yeah, yeah, we got back, but then actually to this house. Gotcha. So, um, you know, I told Steph I wanted to hop on here and just let everybody know that we made it home. And we are going to get back on track and um, get everything caught up. Um, there's Andel. I, did, you, I heard you uh, say her name earlier, but I didn't. Uh, can the kids have gift cards? We prefer that just do the wish list. I mean, we prefer um, that. We don't want you to send anything like that. Um, Brian, y'all need to send me a goat. Christina said. Hey, I, I had I thought about taking one up there, but Dean Dean didn't show up. Um, Tony, yes, we, we've talked about that. I don't know if we can make all those days, but we're definitely, um, going to try to definitely make one of them. I know we got a ball game Saturday, but maybe we can sneak up there Sunday or, uh, Friday. We'll see. Uh, Marie says I'm fixing to head to bed. Hope y'all have a good night. Enjoy getting to see you all. Well, you have a wonderful night as well. Um, we definitely had a blast this weekend. Well, Tom, I'm glad you had a good time at Oki. Good night. God bless you all. Um, do you all have any problems with the boars like Daniel? No, we don't have any here. When we first moved out here, we did, but not. Um, we scared them away. Yeah, we scared them away. And, Dell, are you going to be going to the Lake Ten Killer? waiting for that comment. Glad y'all had an awesome time at the expo. Have a blessed and beautiful week. I have to be up at five. Good night. Unfortunately, no, I can't make this one. Oh, man. What now? You're going to one in Florida, right? Here in a few months? Or G Georgia? Lori says she's trying to go to the Lake Tim Killer. Glad y'all got home safe. Yes, me too. I'm glad we got here before all the storms. Daniel said today's my 30th birthday. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, Daniel. Yeah, that's us. Um, I know it seems like uh, I'm going to... Soul family in Georgia in two weeks. Oh, yeah. I, I met them, them in mm -hmm. two weeks. They were fun. They were a lot of, they, as a hoop. Leonard said, I can't wait to meet all of y'all. Then get to go to the 10, they get to go to the 10 killer meetup. It sounds like it's going to be fun. It really does. Yeah. So good night to you as well, Mike. Happy birthday. Have any merch left? We have a little bit, but not much. But um, we made it about an hour and 10 minutes. 
but we're going to go ahead and start putting away our clothes and everything and trying to get back on a routine um, and hopefully um, get everything caught up. And I know the builders may be back tomorrow for the building. Hopefully that gets finished um, this week. Um, we got a lot of um, a lot of pretty, pretty babies we're going to show you throughout the week. Like I said, there was a bunch of them, a bunch of them. There was which Layton showed us two of them that was born uh, during the live or his Zoom call or whatever you could FaceTime. But we got a big surprise when we came home. Happy birthday. Kevin says a farmer yeah. never gets caught up. You're right about that. Good night, everyone. Great, uh, Brandon. Great to see you again. Yes, it's nice seeing you as well. I bet once you all get to bed, the kids will go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. we just got to get in the back in the routine. We've been out of it for about five or six days. And, uh, well, we'll all get back in the routine and get back on track. And But, anyways, as always, I just want to hop on here and let you all know that uh, made it home safely. Let you all know um, that we had a wonderful time. I hope for the people that showed up had a wonderful time as well. And uh, we'll catch you on the next live. Hope you have a wonderful night. God bless.